What's up, YouTube? VTC Vapors here, vaping with Tyler Traction. Tonight we got something different. Got my good friend Tyler Payne here, the guy that helped me actually torch this Nemesis mod, like I said in my last video. Uh, tonight we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna do a Twisted 26 gauge wire, or Twisted 26. Yeah, wire, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's with a, yeah, the can't all the same. With a 28 wrapped around it. A little bit more intense, a little bit crazy. We'll see what happens. We'll see how it goes. Um, he's gonna go ahead and start the drilling. He's gonna. Uh, he'll explain it. I mean, that's. I mean, more or less. That's, that's basically it. All right. So basically, this is a little bit more complicated coil. We're gonna try something a little different. This isn't your everyday build. This one's kind of more for fun, more aesthetically pleasing than anything. Um, so basically you're going to want to take about a foot of 26 gauge canthal. Um, well, I'd say a foot to, to 15 inches. Whatever works for you. Go ahead and clip it. And take that. Grab each end and put it together. And you want to fold them in equal lengths. Oh, I forgot you folded it. See, I don't do that. Well, you don't have to. No, because I well, okay. the, Because I usually, I usually just twist the end. I don't know. That's just me though, because that's how I thought. Was, yeah. That's how I thought. Was uh, I guess. That, I guess done. technically that'd be easier. So you don't have to fold oh, it so in you half. You still cut. It. Okay, I thought you were folding it at the ends and then pinching it. No, I just normally oh, fold okay. it because it makes it easier. Make them equal lengths. Then you, oh, I normally yeah, clip them, sense. and uh, you take just one ends of uh, both of your pieces of twenty six gauge canthal. And you just twist them together by hand to get them started. All you're wanting to do here Pump is give your drill something to hook up to. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah that might be in. a good idea. You want to plug your drill in before you start to uh, you any, twist your wire. We got outlet on the there's, a, there's an extension cord right in the off. Yes, sir. So you want to have something kind of like that. I don't know if you can see that. It's just a hand twist at the end, something that your drill bit can uh, bite on to. Sorry about that, guys. We're getting the drill set up real quick. Ow. Okay. Perfect. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so just go ahead and use any household drill if you got one. Preferably with power. <laughs> I mean, in reality. All right. And it's good because my other videos, I couldn't tell how the ohms read out, whether they're too high, whether they're sub ohm, too low, whatever. Do you have your own reader? You have the own reader. Have the we own have an own reader. reader. Or, and he has his box mod. So <laughs> either way, we'll find out. We'll let you know what this thing comes out to and how good it works. Uh, All right. So what he did, you he basically took the two coil or the two pieces of wire. He twisted them at the end to where, uh, and then he fit them into the drill, tightened down the drill, made sure it was nice and snug. They were biting down really well. And yeah. I mean, basically, all you gotta do is grab the end with a pair of uh, really good pliers. I mean. Anything that really grips, so that way it holds real tight. So basically you grab, you pull, and you drill. But you want to constantly keep it tight just so, you know. You keep doing that until the coil ends up snapping, and then you go back, try it again, make it a little bit tighter depending on how you like it. Personal preference, really. Just keep going a little bit tighter, and then basically as you hold tension on it, you can just keep going until it breaks. But it's really up to your disc discretion, like you said. And that's actually looking really good, so we'll just go ahead and you stick with that. that. Right. Right, what do you want to roll right. on? What size do you want? Um, let's do a, like a micro-sized coil, like size. your screwdriver will be good. And I don't know if right, we another, can get a uh, close up of that, but I mean, yeah, you probably can't see that, but. If you turn it around to the close up, we can. <laughs> Alright, uh, which did you want to do this one or this one? Uh, it, for the inner one, probably this one, or do you want to go that big? I mean, if you go that big, it's probably going to heat gonna... up slower. Oh, that's true, that's true, yeah. Yes, or something like that. Perfect. Banana, right? So, um, yeah, I am also uh, unaware of what this is equivalent to, but we're going to be rolling on a little screwdriver. It could be by any dollar yeah, store. Right? <laughs> Same one as every other build, so we're going to be using that again. We use two different screwdrivers. And an Allen wrench. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess I wasn't watching as well. <laughs> no, we're good. All right. 
So you go ahead and just like any other wire, hold it like that, and just start rolling clockwise around your wire, or I'm sorry, around your screwdriver. So I'm going to do that probably like what, six, seven wraps, five, six, uh, seven wraps? What are you thinking? I can do as many as you um, like. Depending on where we're putting it in, I guess. Where should we throw it in? Um, do my Taurus. Let's, yeah, let's just, why mess with success? Let's put it in the Taurus. Even and I'm just going to go... Oh, I'm going to go with six wraps. So go ahead and uh, do six wraps on this one. It really depends on how mm -hmm. what you're looking for. If you're going more for flavor or for cloud chasing, whether you want it to ramp up fast or slow. I don't know. I have the 22 gauge in my Taurus. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, well then, uh, I mean, you can put it in anything, really, man. Well, I, mean, I don't know. You're the one over here with 10 RDAs there, guy, uh, <laughs> compared to my six. Um, uh, yeah, He's I mean, a vape hoarder. I mean, just I, I mean, I don't care. It would be probably something with bigger post holes. That's like. what I was thinking. Well, I guess. All right. Actually, now, after you got it wrapped around your screwdriver here, sorry, you just want to go ahead and clip one lead longer than the other. Makes it a little easier for install. And then after you got your leads clipped, <clears throat> you can go ahead and uh, grab each lead with your needle noses and just give it a good tug. Make sure it's nice and tight. No slack left in your coils. You gotta do a build on my system here. Let's just do it on my. See, I want to do one that I haven't used in my RDA. Um, Cause I use my I go my tugboat and well, my we don't. Torso. Uh, we can rebuild. Let's put it in my Mephisto. We'll put it in the Mephisto. That one has big post holes and hasn't been rebuilt in a while. So why not? All right. Alright, now I'm going to pass this off to Tyler, he's going to finish it up, show you what the rest uh, is. This one is at 28 up. Uh, right here, brother. Oh, is that 25? Yes, sir. Uh, 26. Alright. Oh, maybe it is the 26, I'm sorry. I was... Yeah, I thought that was that. Uh, <laughs> that was my bad. No, I'm not going to yeah, use very much. There you go. Wow, dude. These wire cutters are fucking amazing. Okay, that's... <laughs> oh, I cut it. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. I was just like, dude, seriously? Okay, I was like looking for it. All right, so basically what you want to do when you have your uh, twisted coil twisted and rolled... can't really see that. Oh, well. What you want to do is just grab your 28 gauge or whatever uh, smaller gauge wire you want to use and just... Fuck, I hate this camera. Just wrap in between. It's so hard to see. Basically, you want to get that smaller wire to set right in between those bigger coils, and it'll kind of guide its way around oh, that fuck. bigger coil. <laughs> I pressed too hard, it went right in the center of them. So don't do that. Don't press too hard. It, it, it there's anyway. finesse to this coil. I'm, that's too late. I've, I've gone too far. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> I got it in a parallel. Oh well. Oh shit, I already did a parallel video. Take two. <laughs> Alright, so what we're gonna do is just because this coil is a little bit softer, and so when we go to wrap the 28 around, it just falls right in between. We're gonna go ahead and torch it, make this a little bit easier. I'm just gonna switch back. Sounds good. Let it hit it, let it stiffen up a little bit. That way, when we go to roll it over it, it doesn't fall right in between. It kind of just lays right on top. And that's all you need. Just about 10 seconds. Get about red hot. Hold it till it cools, and that should be enough to get all that springiness out. It should be cold in seconds. Just go ahead and drop it in your palm. Yeah, that's a great idea. Don't do that. <laughs> I might even try to touch it. I was like, oh, no fucking way. Yeah, no way I dropped it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God. All right, we found the coil, so we're good, and it's still hot, and... I grabbed it and I thought it was hot and I freaked out and then it turns out, I mean, it was pretty good. It yeah, was yeah. Funny. you had to be there. God damn. It was just me or fucking me. Yeah. Use this straight side, that way it's not all bumpy. Patience is key in coil building. So basically you're building a coil on top of a coil. It's essentially the inception coil, but not the inception coil. <laughs> it's a coil inside of a coil, 
But it's, in this instance, they're touching. And they're two different coils. Dude, I swear to God. Where did we decide to we put the Mephisto? That's right. I'm going to start getting this Mephisto torn down. If those have never seen a Mephisto, it is pretty intense. It's got really big post holes. Just got a twisted 24 gauge build in there right now. Oh, I guess it'd help to see the top cap maybe as well. So basically, this is what you want your coil to look like. It's basically just twisted. Let's see if you can can't focus in. 20, uh, there's your twisted wire. This thing is being a pain. The twisted 26, and you got the 28 gauge wire wrapped around it. So yeah. All right, so while he's starting that apart, um, there's not really much to talk about besides the fact that- Oh, it's just, ready, brother. It's ready? It is. Let me snip some of this stuff off. Tiny compared to these posts. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> this is so awesome. Actually, this one we rolled on, yeah. Got my uh, Pegasus. Freaking. Oh, where's the camera? Oh, uh, there we go. Pegasus <laughs> sorry, with my little it. boy. Vaping on some. Tortoise Blood by Shijin. Stuff's freaking awesome. Blue Raspberry Green Apple Sherbet. One of my personal favorites as of right now. We get these all between... We're in the Portland metro area, so we're in St. Helens currently. Uh, our local vape shop is in St. John's, known as Berlin's, like I mentioned in the last video. Um, elements, I mean, in our reality, Elements. Uh, PDX Vapor. Um... Vape Games 2 is another good one in the Portland area. And I just one more. Well, there's EVL. Oh, EVL. Uh, Vapor Lodge is way out there. They, yeah, they're kind of far, but there is EVL. And am I forgetting anybody? I don't think I so. I can't think of anything. I mean, I feel like there is, but you know what? I think we'll get back to you. <laughs> All right, should we put this? All right, so once again, just like my last videos, the Torch Nemesis. With the coil build in there. Ooh, firing a little awkward. I don't know, it's firing from the inside out. Yeah, just that, that first fire was just eh. The inside out, look at that. It's beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> I like it, I don't even know. I just can't keep looking. I can't stop. From the inside out, this is what you want. We're gonna wick it, then read, um, ohm read it to see what the thing is oming out to. Juice it up, vape it, and then we'll get to go. Right, so we just ohmed out this one, this single coil on here. It ohms out to 0 0.412. So what we're gonna do is go ahead, build a second coil in here to throw it down to 0.2. That's our goal. So he's not while he's building that. We'll be right back and we'll show you how everything looks put together. So we built a dual coil in there just to make it a little bit easier. Both firing beautifully. We saw it on this out, but I'm not really going to worry about it because I know it's lower than 0.3, so I'm not really tripping about yeah, it. Yeah, we can open it out real quick. Just go ahead and see if you want to go ahead and try to pull that thing off. Teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. Nah, it's cooled down now. Oh, All right. it's not too bad, 0.19. Much better, much more what we were looking for. I know it's backwards, but it's one, uh, 0.19, so 0.2 essentially. A little bit lower, definitely sub-ohm, but that's just the kind of vape we like. That was up below right. 0.1. Oh, wait. No, you don't want to go below um, point 0.1. I, so, I thought you said it was sub-ohm. It is sub-ohm. It's below 1 ohm. 
Oh, so he doesn't. See, he doesn't tell me there's anything below point one. No, it's anything below so like one ohm. Point. Wait, so point zero nine sub ohm. Yes, sir. That was point. That was point one nine. I know. So why'd you say it was sub ohm? Never mind. Give me the. Just give me the shit. <laughs> this guy. Make it shit difficult. We're gonna go ahead and wick this thing. All right, so we're back. We finally wick this thing. Got to get that airflow underneath, just for a nice cooler vape. I guess you can't really. There we go. All right, we're gonna go ahead and juice this up. Vapor. <laughs> Some thick fucking juice, man. Is that high VG? Um, yeah, that's a high VG mix. Yeah, it's thick. Eighty-two, eighteen, or something. It's a, it's a house blend from vape games. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. This is our local or their their juice. Huh? We're dripping vape games Cancun. In case you were wondering, I believe it's a mango, papaya, pineapple mix. It's very tropical. Very good. Well, drip tip might be helpful. Right. I mean, you don't need a drip tip if you don't really want to. You're gonna go straight baller. <laughs> this is the two puffs, right? Have a Fisto on top with that two puffs drip tip on there. This thing has adjustable airflow, right? Yeah. Yep. The drip tip itself has adjustable airflow, as you can see right there. We go. But I think it's pretty cool. Oh, there you go. Oh, that was good. There you go. She's Chuck certified. Oh, yeah. Ain't no germaphobes here. We're all vapors. We all do the same thing, right? Where'd I go? <laughs> All right, guys, that's about it. We showed you what are we gonna call that? The um over under the over under coil. That's there right. There you go. Uh, fun build, something to do with your friends, obviously, and yeah, it's a uh, it's a great vid. Don't have another one just cause. All right, guys. That was about it. We're going to wrap it up. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let us know what you want to see. Just let us know what you think. Remember, VTC Vapors for all your vaping needs, juices, reviews, anything. Have a good night, you guys.